Hey everyone, I wanted to put together a quick video to cover a topic that I saw pop up, and I think for a lot of people this is probably going to be one of the first looks at an autonomous type of artificial intelligence, something a little bit more what you might think of as intelligent. There was a repository release known as AutoGPT, and I'm going to of course link it in the description here, but the idea is a experiment with GPT-4 where you're essentially able to give your bot a name and a task. And instead of just asking a question and expecting an answer, you're giving it a task and expecting it to complete the task. It goes through a series of asking itself questions and reasoning in a way that you really haven't seen with GPT. This system is more than just a script. You can install it locally, and it's gonna use like a database. It uses Pinecone, which is kind of a task scheduling system. It uses all these things together to, like I said, kind of accomplish a long series of tasks and eventually hopefully reach a conclusion. The way that the script looks after you get everything set up, it even includes TTS, so it can speak to you, it can explain what it's done, hopefully. This isn't necessarily a system that's designed to learn, but potentially it could create a program for you. When that program doesn't work, it could potentially self-correct. So this is a little bit more than giving a command and getting a single response. This is more getting a command and just letting this thing cook for a while. Uh, credit to Sully here on Twitter. This is where I first came across this, and Research GPT is what he called this. In his example, he pretended to be a fake shoe company, so he gave it these goals. The script that this is using is designed to kind of label things out, make sense of everything, so you can reread this and go back through it, but you can see the individual commands and where it labels everything, how it holds all this information. In my opinion, this is a really clever innovation, a system of using context to feed back into the context. And, and at the same time, it formats everything, sending it back through in a way that's just really better than what we could type in. I fully expect over time, we're going to see a lot more systems very similar to this pop up or maybe based on this idea. At the end here, according to what Sully reported, you got Eight minutes, cost of 10 cents to go through the GPT-4 prompts with using his API key. And you've got a list of the different competitors, a report on each of the competitors. Now, this was a fake shoe company, but this could very much be your own company based on the information that's cooked into GPT. We're not talking about an upcoming system. We're talking about something that you can click on the link in the description and see for yourself how this works. And you can use it on your own. Now, I've yet to install this thing locally, but you know that that's probably my next step. The requirements don't look too bad outside of Pinecone, which I'm not at all familiar with. 11 Labs is optional, not something I really need, but that's if you want it to speak back to you from what it looks like. And again, I haven't done this yet myself, so I can't take you through the series of steps just yet. Just scrolling through Twitter a little bit, I saw people using it for apartment hunting, just brainstorming of all kinds of different stuff. The only warning I would give you is I don't know how heavy it's going to be on your API key, so I would be careful that you don't overuse that. But if I'm being honest, I don't even know that that's a real problem. Now, can you yourself take information into ChatGPT, get the feedback, process it, go back and forth? Yeah, that's what it's designed for. But it looks like one advantage that this thing currently has is it has access to Google searching via the API. I did roll across this demonstration, and of course, I'm going to keep this in the description for you as well, so you can try it out for yourself. Try to give it a task, see what it might be able to do for you. If you want to install it locally on your own, like I'm about to do, I'd love to hear from you in future videos about this topic. But I think that's going to be it for me tonight. I hope this was exciting and helpful for some of you. Thank you, as always, for your likes, interactions, all that good stuff. And as always, thanks for watching.